In this problem, we have three fractions and there's multiplication and addition. The important thing to know about a problem like this is called the order of operations. That is, what do you do first? What do you do second? And the rule here is that multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. There are no parentheses here. If there were, I'd do what's in the parentheses first. But since there are no parentheses, we have to do the multiplication part first and then do the addition part. So this is really two problems. The first one is a multiplication problem, 1 half times 7 ninths. And this shouldn't be too hard. When we multiply two fractions, we just multiply the numbers across the top and multiply the numbers across the bottom. 1 times 7 is 7, and 2 times 9 is 18. So this gives us 7 eighteenths. And I can just take this and stick it in for this whole chunk right here. So let me rewrite the problem now. I've got 5 sixths plus 7 eighteenths. Now we do the addition problem. To add fractions, you need a common denominator. And so you'd take these two denominators and try to find the least common denominator. Uh, I, I think I can do this in my head at this point. I've got 18. That's actually a multiple of 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So I could multiply this fraction by 3 over 3 to put it in 18 ths. So let's do that. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 7 18 ths. So I've got 15 18 ths plus 7 18 ths. 15 plus 7, I can just add them now since the denominators are the same. That's going to be 22 18 ths. Now this fraction looks like the top and the bottom are divisible by 2. So we need to simplify. If I divide the top by 2, I get 11. If I divide the bottom by 2, I get 9. And from there, I don't think there's anything else I can do to simplify it. So this comes out to be 11 ninths. So that's a little bit of work with fractions and the order of operations.